Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I pray and I hope that when your eyes open this beautiful Friday day, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right, just in case I missed something on yesterday. You've given me another opportunity, and I do thank you for that. You may be getting up to prepare breakfast, lunch, dinner, as the old folks used to say, supper time. Whatever your endeavor is today, I ask you, if you don't mind, to give me a few moments as you open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart. And let the heart pump the word of the day. And the word of the day is what the whole world really needs. What the whole world really desires and don't know how to get it. You can't buy it. You can't force it. You can't steal it. And that word is love. Love. And we're talking about God kind of love. We're talking about the love that his son showed to all mankind the day that he went to the cross. Do you desire love today? Do you know what real love is? Have you experienced real love? Have you given out real love? Have you opened yourself up to receive real love? That's the question of the day. Let's look at the definition of love. A quality of feeling, a strong, a constant affection for and a dedication to another person. <laughs> Who are you dedicated to today? Who have you surrendered yourself to today? To love someone is to will the good for that person. To work towards wanting what is best for that person what will bring that person into a direct relationship with true love, true love. Let's look at what the Bible defines love as. It's a selfless sacrifice, an unconditional commitment to the well-being of another. Mm. It goes on to say, love is patience. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not argumentative. It is not rude. Love is not rude. You know, <clears throat> when you truly love someone, you totally forget about self. You put that person number one in your life. There is nothing in the world that you wouldn't surrender a do for that person. Who do you love today? Let's look what 1 John 4, 7 and 8 says about love. Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. Speaking of agape love, of which the world 
knows nothing about. <laughs> and we can see that today. We can see that. We love lip service, but do we love heart service? Do we seek the best for that person? Are we concerned about that person? Do we visit that person? Do we make sure that their needs are met? That's agape love. Of which the world knows nothing. And in fact, cannot have to any degree. You know why the world can't have it? The world is selfish. And everyone who loves is born of God and know God. See, you can't tell me. I can't tell you that I know God and I love God and I can't love what God created on this earth. I'm a liar and the truth is not in me. And I pray that's not you. See, and it goes on to say, and everyone who loves is born of God and know God. This is the God kind of love and cannot be fabricated. <laughs> you know, we got the holidays coming up and everybody's going to want to gather at grandmama's house, or auntie's house, or mommy's house, or my brother's sister's houses, and then the rest of the year. We haven't called them. We hadn't been concerned. We had made sure that all of their needs are met. <laughs> Agape love. In fact, something will always happen to show what type of love a person possess. Whew. It'll show up eventually. If somebody is telling you they love you, it will show up eventually. You don't have to say a word. It'll show. Love is something that cannot be hid. Whether it's the God kind of love or that love that the world offers. Do you know what kind of love lives in you? Do you have the God kind of love that sacrifices everything to make sure that someone else's needs are met? Or do you have the world kind of love, which is selfish? If they don't love me, I don't love them. If they don't help me, I don't help them. See, I... I did some for them last week, and they haven't even returned the favor. That's not agape love. Agape love goes forth whether it comes back to you or not. You know why I know that? Because there are so many people that hate the name of Jesus Christ. And he did not not go to the cross for them. He went on anyhow. He went on because he knew that one day that person may return back. And it goes on to say, he who loves not, know not God. For God is love. As to his nature, God's nature is love. The blood that runs through him is love. The air is love. The wind is love. The sunshine is love. The moon is love. The stars is love. The universe is love. Because God is love. <laughs> All right. Are you showing that kind of love? So let us today... Remember the last portion of the verse. And everyone 
who loves is born of God and know God. Do you know him today? You cannot know God and hate your brother or your sister or your neighbor or your friend or your mama or your daddy or your auntie or your uncle or your cousin. You cannot know God and not love those people. You got to love them first. God says, how can you Love me whom you never seen and hate your brother who you see every day. Love. Love. And if the Lord Jesus says the same, I will see you on Monday. Be safe. Be blessed. Have a beautiful and a safe weekend. And know the whole weekend, ask yourself, do I truly have agape kind of love? Have I forsaken myself to make sure that you have what you need? Bye-bye.